<laughs> so you've made it this far. Welcome back, viewer. But I'm not letting anyone leave my channel. Everyone's gonna subscribe. I'm gonna put something together for that. I swear, that's just what I'm doing right now. There's gonna be something cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make that a thing. You know, make it nicer than just me yelling into it like Brian Irons. Welcome back, everyone. I'm, of course, Stevie B. In my last video, I did a reaction to the Tokyo Game Show Resident Evil 2 story trailer that launched. And there was uh, so much in there that, I, that I, I think I need to give it a thorough breakdown. You know, that was my initial raw reactions and thoughts to it. And I think we should go scene by scene and really talk about it because I, I really want to get in there. There's so many things that just flashed by me real fast that I, that I didn't catch. So let's kind of go through it scene by scene and, and let's see what we come up with, see what I missed. I mean, I heard there was, I, on Twitter they were talking about seeing Hunk. Like, I, I didn't see Hunk. I don't remember seeing that, so let's check it out. All right, we got the story trail up right here. Let's push play and let's go through this bad boy. I'm, I'm excited. I get excited every video, though. Yeah. All right. It's going to be very different for sure. See, I, I really like this, this like, cinematic opening, like it's a TV show. So I want to stop here. I remember the first thing that I reacted to here is I actually thought this was the, the third floor of the RPD uh, where you have to put the, the cog wheel to get the either spark plug or the, I don't know the official name for it, but like the stone for Claire. Uh, I thought that's what this room, but it's obviously the boiler room, I guess, underneath the station, I believe it looks like. So that's pretty dope. She works at Umbrella. I really like Where's Sherry's that? voice actor as well. Hey, um... That's good. And that is, that is such a great look. Oh, all right. So this is a, this is our, a big look at William Birkin, uh, during the first phase of his, uh, G transformation. And, uh, it definitely, you know, it's obviously running on the RE engine. It definitely gives RE7 vibes for me, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, but just like the texture and stuff, you know, it's running on the same engine. So that makes sense. Let's see. He's gone. And I, I commented on this too, when we were watching the trailer, uh, I like the foreshadowing. He's gone. There he is dressed in black. He's a dark guy, you know? Uh, he's cracked, you know, because he's cracked mentally. Mm -hmm. Capcom makes the game, in case you guys didn't know that. So nobody knows what caused this? Again, I really like that, too, because now we know that Claire and Marvin both talk to each other. So, like, Marvin's going to be your, like, your guy, your main guy, at least for the beginning part of the game, for both characters. Uh, so I, I, I like that. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Leon. Get down! Come on! Okay, so that... Okay, let's let's go back a little bit. I'm gonna go back a little bit. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. Alright. So, I mean, this is obviously her gameplay. It's very much like Leon's gameplay in the in the RPD. Leon. Um, Get down! Yeah, but it's okay. So, this, this is, uh, you know, remake version of the get down you know just ducks and boom so i think that's cool come on up oh, up oh, we got okay that's quick up. we got uh we got the beginning this is the let's go back a little bit again this is the beginning come on. we're in the car boom here comes it's up oh, we're separated okay. i'll meet you there I'm sure you beat me here. <laughs> welcome leon that's funny she said i'm sure you beat me here I think she's going to be spending a lot longer in the city in the beginning than Leon is. I think we're going to see that. By the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Lab. I think that was the reporter. Uh, ben? Maybe that was Ben? I'm not 100% sure who that was. Comment below if you think you know who that is, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to think it was Ben. We got a first look at the Cerberus, the Cerberus dog. We say, "Oh, it's rough." Yeah, you know, par for the course with these guys. Get the hell out of here! Oh, before it's too late. So we got we got Ada saving the day. Controversial costume. We talked about that a little bit last video, but again, I think you know I said it last time. I think we're going to have a big whew, reveal. I mean, she's a spy, right? Um, I believe the community manager said something about her glasses. Maybe not be actually, like, legit glasses. Maybe spy glasses. I don't know. So that's pretty cool. What's going 
going on here? We got the jail cells. Sorry. That information's classified. We got Ada being sassy. Okay, so what is this? Someone A who is A Kirkpatrick? Cam two. What is this? We're we're looking at what is that? Okay, so that okay, so I think this is the where they raid the Barkin lab. I think this is Barkin going crazy. I think that's yeah, that's what we're looking at. Yeah, and there's a net, of course. Oh, we got classic rats and G virus. What exactly are you looking for? Yeah, I think it was Ben again on the radio. Oh, they were outside. That's pretty cool. What the? I swear, you bastard. You hurt her. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, there's the... Okay, let's go back a little bit. So, we're obviously going to get a lot more of uh, Claire and Chief Brian Irons. I'm a big fan of Brian Irons. Not like a fan like he's a cool guy, but like a fan like I really enjoy that character. Uh, I really... I think he's one of the more complex villains in the Resident Evil saga. Uh, I just I just like what he's I like the past. I might do a full video on Brian Iron just because I'm so into it. Uh, I just I just like that. It's, it's my intro, you know what I mean? And so yeah, they're talking back and forth. We're gonna I think we're gonna see a lot more of that with Claire. Excellent, you bastard. You hurt her. And there's of course well we missed it, but there was of course the uh, the mayor's daughter. Um, I guess he's gonna stuff her. Well, you know, not like that kind of stuff, but stuff her. You know, we saw his office in the original game, so yourself and yeah, so here let's go back a little bit uh, you know here we have the classic Ada Leon Annette uh, conflict I guess you call it where uh, Ada is trying to get the G virus from Annette and that doesn't really have it it's the whole big thing so spoilers <laughs> All right, and there's uh oh so of course you know what there's William chasing Cherry around. He's trying, you know, it's embedded in him to reproduce is a bad word. Uh, infect his daughter it's an, uh, and put an embryo inside his daughter. It's still, it's all bad, but yeah. He's uh, attracted to his own DNA, so. That's pretty cool. Wonder how they get out of that. Oh, there's our first shot of the sewers beneath the station. So that's pretty cool. Gee, thanks. That that was the most Leon that he's been. That voice right there, the G thanks. I was really into that line. I really like that line. It, now that to me feels like the original Resident Evil 2. I love it. And boom, Resident Evil 2. There you have it. All right, so that, that was a that was a fun breakdown. I enjoyed that. I I feel like I got more out of it that time. I really do. Uh, I didn't see the hunk stuff, man. People on Twitter talking about hunk. I think I've even seen a picture, but did I miss it? Timestamp it for me if I missed it. Uh, I, I didn't see hunk in that at all. I, I, I mean, I, I was looking for it. Uh, my, my definitely my favorite things out of the two things were the, the phone conversation between Brian Irons and Claire. I like that conflict and how they're expanding upon it. And uh, the Leon line at the end was really good too. I really liked that. Uh, what were your favorite parts of that? Uh, what, you know, when, when you went through with me, did you notice something different? Uh, did you did you see something that stood out that you hadn't seen before? What's your favorite part? You know, I just, you know, like I said, the Leon and the conflict between Brian Irons and Claire was mine. What's yours? Let me know. Uh, all right. Well, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for watching. Please, uh, if you liked the video, please like it, uh, share it. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you again on the next one. Stevie B out.